Tom. Happening now, Fairhope police are under scrutiny for how they handled a house party bust with as many as 100 underage drinkers. Social media has been on fire with allegations of preferential treatment and rumors. Fairhope police released a statement yesterday, but we, along with our viewers, wanted more answers. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro went to Fairhope today to learn if policy was followed. It's no secret that Fairhope is a bedroom community with a lot of people pretty well connected, and that had some people crying foul when no arrests were made at an open house party on County Road 13. The teens attending were sons and daughters of some well-known Fairhope parents. A statement released by Fairhope Police said arresting 50 kids would have been unworkable and impractical. Members of the community are using word like favoritism and preferential treatment. There were so many kids, you couldn't have arrested them all. That's not normal procedure anyway, is it? Uh, depends on the number of kids that we detain. On any given Saturday night in the city of Fairhope, we're covering 88 square miles with only about five officers on duty. The officers who responded to the teenage throwdown made a judgment call. Sawyer says they followed procedure. The officers on scene made a good choice. Uh, they detained the kids for their safety, notified parents, and the parents were able to come to the scene and pick them up. So what happens next? Sawyer says names were documented and they will be turned over to the court system. If you're 18 or 19, you're a minor. You would be arrested and you would have a case that was heard in our, in our municipal court. If you're 17 or under, that's a juvenile, and that case will be handled through the juvenile court. It's a completely different situation, completely different legal definition. In either case, details about those arrested will not be released to the media. So why wasn't the person who gave the kids booze arrested? The open house party laws only work when an adult is present. That law does not apply here, despite what a lot of people are speculating, simply because we did not find any adults in the house. Police did want to issue a stern warning to parents. Just because you're a parent does not mean you can enable your underage children to break the law. For now, reporting in Fairhope, Cassie Fambro, NBC 